Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with the essay practicals. In today's session, we are going to see three of these questions. In this, the first question is design and verify a half adder or full adder. Let's start. Now, first of all, what is the meaning of adder? Adder is basically a circuitry, digital circuitry, which is going to add the digits. Okay, or the you can say the bits. Okay, so depending upon the number of bits we may have half adder and similarly we may have full adder okay if there are two bits then we are going to use half adder like in this case a and b are two bits and we are getting the sum and a carry bit okay and this is the truth table since here we have a two input the possibility of the output will be 2 raised to n which is 4 2 times 0 2 times 1 then we are supposed to write alternate 0 and 1 now it is going to read like this 0 0 then we are getting sum as 0 and the carry bit is also 0 then if the input is 0 and 1 then the sum is 1 and the carry it is 0 okay then if we have 1 and 0 de rahe hain, toh sum ho hai 1 and carry is again 0 then when we are giving both the input as 1 1 then hamara sum ho jayega 0 and carry ho jayega 1 okay and this is the circuitry you can see here we have here a and b as a two input and for generating sum we are using xor gate okay this is a simple xor boolean expression you can see here s is equal to a complement dot b plus a dot b complement which is a xor and for determining the carry bit we are using simple AND gate this is and the boolean expression for this will be c is equal to a dot b let's implement this in uh, logism so this is the software as 2.7.1 let's start first of all i'll take two input a and b And you can increase the font size from here. Okay, I'll give you A. And this is our B. Okay. So now the first of all, the circuitry requires, you can see here, this is our template. Here we are having a number of gates and the various options are there. Depending upon the circuit need, we can select the gates okay so first of all we'll take a xor gate here and we'll do a simple connection between xor and the two inputs and it is going to give us the output as sum okay and we can write here s is equal to a complement dot b plus we'll write a dot b complement this is a xor formula correct then after that this was about the sum for carry bit we'll again split the signal from a and b and we'll take a and gate okay now the output of this will be our carry bit okay and we'll write here using this C is equal to we say a dot b okay so this is our carry bit and if you want to check the circuitry you are supposed to click on this thumb icon okay so when both the bits are zero zero nothing is generated okay when we are giving as one so sum is one okay it's like one plus zero so sum will be one whereas carry will be zero okay when we are making a as a zero and b as one then also you can see here the sum is 1 whereas carry bit is 0 only and when we are giving both the bits as 1 1 then you can see here the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 okay so this is how we can do we can implement our full adder also for full adder we have the circuitry circuitry here here we have three inputs a b and c in we are supposed to use two XOR gates and two AND gate and one 
और गेट ओके जो हमारा सम है वो हमारा सिंपली एग्जॉर है ऑफ दीज थ्री इनपुट्स वेर एज जो हमारा कैरी आउट है दैट इज अू कैन से ए डॉट बी विच इज एंड दिस सिंपल एंड देन वी आर टेकिंग सी इन एंड द एग्जॉर हियर ओके एंड देन वी आर एडिंग इट ओके यूजिंग और गेट ओके सो लेट्स ड्रॉ द सर्किटरी फॉर फुल एडो can write here full no so for this we required three bits so this is our input bits so we'll take three inputs then we'll give the name as here using a we gave the name as a this is our b and this is our c This is our C in. Okay. Now, first of all, we'll take a XOR gate. We'll add A and B. Okay. Then we'll take signal from A. signal from b and we'll take a and gate we'll join this now again the output of this will combine to our c in using and gate we simply have to follow the circuitry okay any aap connection aapko yahan pe properly karna hai jo bhi extra aapko lag raha hai aap simply use delete kar sakte hain okay so we have taken this now this and will join using xor gate okay and this is our this is our final okay and this was missing the output okay now this was about the c out for adding the sum will take a signal from here okay and one more signal from here and now again we'll do the xor okay and this is our sum bit so give a input and we'll use s okay so here you can write the formula also s is equal to a xor b xor c in okay and similarly for c out also you can write the formula now let's verify the truth table now for full adder you can see here three first of all what are the possibilities since here we have a three number of inputs so the possibility will be 2 raised to 3 which is 8 so the input will be a will be 4 times 0 then 4 times 1 then b will be 2 times 0 2 times 1 c will be alternate okay so when we are adding all zeros the sum will be 0 with the carry will be 0 dono zero hoga jab humne yahan par c in ki value 1 kar di sum will be 1 carry mein koi changes nahi then again 0 1 0 sum is 1 when we are adding 0 1 1 now in this case like we have done in half adder sum will be 0 and carry bit will be 1 okay then when we are adding 1 0 0 sum will be 1 carry will be 0 then again 1 0 1 sum will be 0 carry will be 
okay now the last option when we are giving all the input as one you can see here the sum will be one and as well as the carry will be one now let's verify this okay so we'll click on this thumb icon so when everything is zero both the outputs are zero when we are increasing c in so you can see okay we have forgotten to add this Now we have forgotten to join this line. We are supposed to jo join this, okay? Because C in is going in one this D and in this one XOR. Okay, ye aapko yaad rakhna hai. Now when C in is one, you can see the sum is one. When B is one, the sum is again one, carry is nothing. When B and C is one, one, you can see sum is zero and carry is one. When I'm making A also 1, you can see both the bits will be 1, 1. Okay, so this is how you are supposed to verify the full adder. Now after that, the next concept is to verify half subtractor and full subtractor. For that, I have already drawn the circuitry. You can see here. Okay, uh, full half subtractor and full subtractor work similar to half adder and full adder. The difference is that half adder and full adder is going to do the addition whereas subtractor is going to obviously do the minus. Okay, so here also we have half adder, two inputs and two outputs will be there. That is difference and borrow. Okay, and one simple negation we are going to use for borrow out okay that is x uh, complement dot y everything is same just you are supposed to remember this okay and difference is similar to xor gate only simple xor okay so the let's see the truth table first of all now you can see a half subtractor 0 minus 0 will be difference will be 0 borrow will be 0 okay just in case we are giving 0 minus 1 the difference will be 1 plus it is going to ask a borrow correct jaise ki humne bachpan mein hum minus karte hain koi numbers mein 0 hai aur niche koi bada number hai to obviously aap borrow karoge correct so that is the reason yahan par hamare paas borrow generate hota hai Rest in all case you can see borrow bit is always 0 only. Okay, 1 minus 0, difference is 1, borrow is 0. 1 minus 1, both the difference and borrow will be 0. Okay, so this is how we are supposed to run. Let's see. So, I am clicking on thumb. So, 0 minus 0 is 0, correct? When I am giving 1 minus 0, the difference is 1, whereas borrow is 0. Okay, when I am making 0 minus 1, in that case you can see here, the difference is also 1 plus there will be a borrow bit. Okay, when I am making x and y both 1, 1, then you can see both the outputs will be 0. Okay, likewise you can verify the full subtractor can see here the circuitry here also we have a XOR gate just we are making a complement here in the AND gate okay in both the AND gate we have to do the complement okay and the truth table is similar see here 0 when all the inputs are 0 there will be both the outputs will be 0 then jab aap 0 0 1 kar rahe, minus kar rahe, to obviously upar uh, 0 hai aur niche agar aapne 1 likha hua hai to obviously aap borrow karenge correct then here also 0 1 0 
here we have on top we are having zero so that's why again we will generate a borrow bit then again zero one one again यहाँ पर zero आया तो हमको क्या करना होगा borrow करना पड़ेगा but we know one minus one is zero okay then one zero zero obviously difference will be one borrow will be nothing okay like that we can do and when all the inputs are one one you can see your difference will be one as well as borrow will be one okay so this is how you can verify the full subtractor okay now we'll move forward let's see the third question which is very very important design a four bit magnitude comparator using a combinational circuit now what is the meaning of comparator a comparator used to compare two binary number uh, two binary number and they are of four bits okay there will be two inputs number of bits will be eight and obviously there are two four bit you can say numbers will be given and it is going to generate three outputs okay it will be checking the mm, uh, magnitude okay whether the two numbers are equal to greater than or less than so let's start that okay for that i'll create a new file now after that you can see here here we have a arithmetic okay and you can click on comparator now we are supposed to make it a four bit comparator okay so we'll select as a four then it will be unsigned okay why unsigned unsigned means it is positive numbers okay now we'll take inputs a and input b okay so again input kitna hoga hamare paas yahan par 4 bit ka hoga and we'll keep it as no so that we can connect like this okay similarly we'll do for this one paste it as north and make it as a 4 bit okay and we'll do the connection like this all right now let's name and changing the font size okay let's name this this is our a okay so we have a and b as a four bit inputs and this is our comparator which is going to check whether the inputs are equal to greater than or less than okay now we required a input output for reflecting this comparison so we'll take led matrix okay now we'll make as a matrix column as 3 and row as 1 okay and aisa karke ab aap kya karenge isko aap connect kar dijiye simple connection karna hai hame yahan par रिमेम्बर दिस इज आवर एल ई डी मैट्रिक्स एंड ये क्यों लिया हमने ताकि हम इसका आउटपुट देख सके अभी आप देख सकते हैं ए एंड बी बोथ आर जीरो जीरो दे आर इक्वल सो इट इज सिग्नलिंग टू इक्वल टू सेम्बॉल ओके ये इक्वल टू रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है ओके नाउ लेट्स रन दिस सपोज आई एम चेंजिंग द वैल्यू आई एम मेकिंग दिस एज वन ओके नाउ यू कैन सी ए इज ग्रेटर दैन पी करेक्ट नाउ when i'm making b as 1 you can see b is greater than a okay and when i make a also 1 so it will be equal to okay so this is how the comparator works thank you so much everyone for watching do like the video share with your friends